Oahu League of Republicans. Uh, this is it's, it's quite an exciting time right now in our party. This is a competitive race, and uh, that means that the party is alive. <laughs> I have a worthy opponent who will be speaking to you a little bit later. And part, part of my challenge that I know is that I am a rather new face uh, in the party, and uh, I've been very active over the past year, a year to two years. And I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I, I was born and raised here in Hawaii, just up the road at Kapimani Hospital. And um, my, I came from a culturally mixed family. My mom is uh, Filipina, so for any couple of Bayan, uh, Maganda, Kapon, <laughs> and for the rest, good afternoon. But, but this has been, I mean, for me, I've, I've been involved in political campaigning for, for nearly two years now. And it has just been a fantastic experience. And I want to implement a lot of what I've learned and done now to our county committee. Um, what I've done most recently uh, with the Stop Go Now campaign, I've, I've been involved in, in promoting, of course, taxpayer-related issues. That's what I'm, I'm most involved with. And I think Charles, he's gone now. But Charles, he, he did such a fantastic job of, of communicating uh, taxpayer-related issues. And he's doing a fantastic job at, at City Hall. And what I want to do is, on the county committee level, I want to see active Republicans making more and more noise. Because that's what inspires others to get involved when we go to our soccer leagues, to our PTAs, our community associations, when we go to our church groups, you know, wherever we meet others. It's, it's local issues. And that's where really the Democrats have beaten us over the last the last eight years. They've organized very, very well using technology, and that's what we must do. That's that's how I got involved here in our party. It was through a presidential campaign that I connected with other concerned Republicans online, and we started getting involved with the party. And that's what we need to implement. If you go to my website, HonoluluCountyGOP.com, you can see what I've set up in regards to our current uh, legislative session. There are a couple of bills that are on Lifeline right now. They're, they're, about to, they're about to die in committee, but we can still make noise. <laughs> and it, I mean, we've got to build momentum. We have to think long term uh, with our party and with our issues. Well, for example, I want to, want to share with you about, maybe you've heard of Karen's Law. That's a, a bill that Representative Kimberly Pine from Ella Beach introduced last year. And it got killed in judiciary last year. Well, this year it passed judiciary, and it, now it's on Lifeline and Finance Committee. But, you see, we built, we, we progressed, and this is what we must do. We, we cannot give up the fight. That's why Republicans, we have to keep pushing forward, keep making noise. And that's what I want to do um, as your county chair. I want to I wanna go against the Democrats, and I want to I point the, the errors in their, in their bills and and really, there's principles, there's underlying principles that we must continually educate the public about. And that's, that's the real challenge. Um, I've been the House District Chair for 31, and we have built up several precincts, we organized several precincts, we have, we have uh, two vice chairs, and we're involved in the neighborhood board. And we're involved, uh, we're, well, in our Salt Lake neighborhood, what's, what's happened is there's been a spike in crime over the past, geez, several months. And so that is a community concern, and we have to connect. And we have a party platform, and there are values in, in that platform that we should be at our neighborhood board meetings, at these other meetings, and saying, look, this is why you're more of a Republican than a Democrat. But that's how we're going to see an active and thriving county organization again. So that's my vision for you. Um, I want to utilize technology, and, and geez, we have so much to look forward to 2010 will be a big year and imagine if we had an active and engaged county organization how much stronger our state committee would be for the statewide races so once again i'm dan douglas and for the for the 14 of you who will be at county convention i look forward to uh, your vote for me and uh, thank you so much mahalo